this is Dr. Alex C again. Today we are going to be on the remote learning package one and uh, I would like to introduce to you lab two. Introduction to lab view. In this lab the main objective as you can see on the screen is that uh, it allows students to learn several things. Firstly on some programming exercises, getting familiar with virtual instruments, front panel, block diagram design, and the basic lab view software design principle. But in order to better understand the programming platform, it is intended to use a mathematical equation to assist you for your learning. So in this lab, the equation of a linear straight line will be determined as shown on the screen here. We know very well that the equation of a straight line is y equals to mx plus c, where the m refers to the gradient of this straight line. You would have probably learned this during your school days. The slope of the gradient is given as follows m is equals to the slope which is equals to y1 minus y0 divided by x1 minus x0 whereby the x1 x0 y1 and y0 are a set of two cartesian coordinates now after having finding the slope Okay, we can calculate the angle between the, the straight line and the horizontal x-axis. And we can determine the angle in radians as well as the angle in degrees using the tangent function, which is a trigonometrical function. Now, without further ado, let's take you to move you down to the next page on page 2 of this lab sheet 2, lab 2. Now, you are required to design a VI to plot a line and find the slope and the angle for a given set of two points. But first of all, we need to create a sub VI to calculate the slope of the set of coordinates. So, if you read further, Okay, we will create a sub VI called slope.vi. Okay, this is the block diagram. Okay, and the front uh, the block diagram of the intended uh, code that we will construct in lab view. This will be the intended front panel of this function. Now let me move you on to the lab view. Now I have created a this slope vi function which is partially completed. So we need to construct this. So notice that uh, we will use a pair of two coordinates. So call it y1, y0 x1 and x0. So I have two subtract function over here. Now I'm going to call up my wiring tool by pressing the shift right click on my mouse. I'm going to use the wiring tool and I will wire the y1 to the subtract function input terminal. Right Now notice that the output of this function will be y1 minus y0 and on the front panel on this left hand side the user is allowed to enter the different coordinates now I will need to locate the missing function here which is called the inverse tangent function which is missing in this block here so what I do is that I'll right click on my function palette I will navigate to the mathematical function, move on to elementary, okay, 
the function is located under trigonometry over here and it is under this function node called inverse tangent or arc tangent so I'm going to click and drop it here I will wire the output of the divide function this is the divide function by the way which actually gives me the slope output over here because I have y1 minus y0 and over here I have x1 minus x0 so when I divide these two I get the slope and I will feed this into the input terminal of this inverse tangent function now similarly I'm going to wire the output of here to this wire connector here right so the output of this will be the angle in radians over here now I need to divide uh, this output with 2 pi so where do I get this uh, 2 pi function well what I do is I'm going to right click uh, no sorry I'm going to right click on my function palette navigate to numeric go to the mathematic method max constant locate this 2 pi constant over here click and drop and I'm going to wire this to the here so I have completed the first part of this function and this is the inverse tangent function and this is the 2 pi constant that we know very well thank you for watching I will continue on later